New details from police say this deadly double shooting started over a dispute and ended when a man who lived here at the apartments shot and killed two of the women who worked here. Box 82, we don't know where the shooter is. Prince George's County Police say the chaos erupted shortly after 9 Friday morning. Uh, do we still have one injured in the hallway? When 63-year-old Roy Batson allegedly shot and killed two employees at the senior living community he lived at, 46-year-old Makeda Evans and 46-year-old Michelle Botang. PGPD says preliminary details reveal he confronted one of the workers earlier in the morning about a prior dispute over a violation notice. That's when things took a turn. The shooter told me that Don, nobody is standing up for the seniors. I can't take it no more. I have to do something. Police say Batson admitted to going to his apartment, getting a gun, returning to the office, and shooting the two women. Residents say when they heard the alarm, they knew something had gone wrong. So I heard some arguing, but that was all I heard. Exchange of words, and that was it. So, but when the fire alarm went off, my gut instinct just told me, get out the building and go up the property. Police say they found Batson laying down in a hallway, the same hallway a gun was found and was taken into custody without a fight, less than an hour after pulling the trigger. Truly disturbed by that. Two people are killed, two people are gone. I don't know the circumstances, I don't get in folk personal business. I'm sorry that happened. If anyone has information relevant to this investigation, detectives want to hear from you. That number you can call is 301-516-2512. In Prince George's County, Colby Satterfield, WUSA 9.